Hello. So, um, I've been trying to do a video about this for honestly a while now, but, um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a video about like countering Ishmael. Um, so I've been doing a lot of tests and stuff to try to like a bunch of different types of Ishmael lines that I see. Um, so we got a variety here. A lot of them have Rufus. Um, we have one with Aurora here. Like we have one with Corvus. Like there's one with the Ishmael as a tank. Like these are lines I've seen like Guild Wars or in Arena. Um, so like, but I uh, kind of like the thing with Ishmael is like what makes him so hard, right? Is where's Ishmael? My Ishmael's not very strong. But Ishmael, like, is this phantom ability, right? So it protects him for six seconds, gaining bonus for each dodge. Like, this is with the ascension. Like, I have him, I have the skill ascended even, elusive phantom. So once he has the ascension skill, which is actually not even that hard to get because only tier two. So, like, once he gets this one, um, it doubles the length of the, the phantom from three seconds to six seconds, but also makes it so he uh, forces miss on all magic and physical attacks. Um, so that may gives him a heck of a mitigation boost, right? Um, and this happens, so it lasts for six seconds and happens every 20 seconds, which doesn't seem so bad. Like, okay, well, so there'll be a portion of time I can't damage him with physical or magic damage. But the thing is, when he's ulting, he gets a 200% haste. So uh, 20 seconds becomes one third of that. So instead of uh, this ability refreshing every 20 seconds, it refreshes every 6.67 seconds, which means... It's now there's like this very small window of time of less than a second where you can actually damage him with magic or physical attacks. Um, and this makes Ishmael very hard to deal with, like um after he's um in his awakened form, once he ults, he's in this form where he has this two hundred percent haste. Um, so this makes him very hard to deal with. Um, like especially like if you ever like missed on uh, somebody in your guild missed on an Ishmael team, and he's still up on defense, like he will probably start the fight in this form and then just. He, like I said, can seem like he's invincible. Um, but key point, though, this does not protect versus um, pure damage. So you can still damage pure damage. It's pretty much the key there. Um, you can also try stunning him and stuff with heroes like Arachne. Um, but, uh, you know, your options become a lot more limited. Like, because this ability, this makes him hard to deal with. There's only a handful of heroes you can really use against Ishmael. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, he is a agility hero. He does crit and stuff. Um, he has vampirism, so he has good self-healing. And he can stun you. The only stun is that he only does basic physical attacks. Like all of his attacks are basic physical. So keep that in mind. His second defense tension ability on rank five does uh, gives him double crits. So doubles his damage when he crits, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, it's like I said, certainly can hit hard, especially if it's like Sebastian Battle Song. I mean, like I said, this is, I mean, a lot of heroes, like even before this, though, he can one shot a lot of heroes even without this. But with this, you know, like if he has Sebastian battle song, if Sebastian Ishmael, like whatever, they will they will one shot a lot of heroes. So just keep that in mind. But it's always basic physical attacks. Um, so you'd gotta just keep that in mind. But um, so kind of like the key points though, like if you're against like an Ishmael team, um, because like Amira works really well here. Like we can actually go back to Amira. Like, but Amira works really well versus Ishmael. I've kind of found that she is one of the best counters to Ishmael because of her uh what is it? Desperate Fury, right? So Amira grants a wish to the enemies the agility main stand, boosting their critical hit chance for seven seconds if it's above zero at the time of activation. Unfortunately, all their critical hits end up missing the target during this time. So this pretty much ends up being a blind effect on Ishmael, except when he doesn't crit. And of course, Ishmael does most of his damage with crits, um, especially if Sebastian's also battle songing. Um, but this pretty much ends up, because Sebastian's like ubiquitous, this ends up pretty much blinding all agility heroes more or less like greatly reduces their damage potential um like so this is for seven last for seven seconds she uses it pretty often so about half the time i don't know i don't know the exact like refresh but um it's pretty frequent um so this ends up being like a really good counter to ishmael she does a lot of magic damage um but you kind of have to get lucky to make sure it actually hits um because uh, again like the timer on it with the, because of Ishmael's uh, phantom timer. A lot of times this won't do any damage to Ishmael itself, but it might do a lot of damage to the rest of the team. So it's still a good ability. Um, but this is what you need versus Ishmael. Um, like, but uh, like so, but uh, the other thing to Ishmael though is like you gotta pretty much use pure damage heroes. Alright, so pure damage, like you got Maya, 
you got you can't really do her because she has to land physical attacks to do the pure damage so that's not a good option heidi you got iris and then probably leanne's another option she can also um charm ishmael and maybe disrupt his phantom cycle but those are pretty much your options for damage here um stuns or status effects you can also use leanne for that um there's also arachne and uh maybe lars where's lars lars is gonna be towards the top right maybe something like that you know try to hit him with like some stuns or something or like charm but those are your options but generally speaking though i've kind of found that um unless they have corvus i kind of feel like a uh, heidi is going to be your best option most of the time for damage unless they have corvus which we'll talk about here in a bit we'll talk about corvus because i did put a corvus line up there just to kind of show you what happens there but these two heroes are pretty good um like in the tanking like Right, it's like Aurora, like or even Corv stuff. Like a lot of tanks, like they actually can get one shot uh, by Ishmael. Like, um, right, like this is actually, yeah, you know, I've kind of done lots of testing. And I'm actually, I'm actually really warmed up to the idea of just using Krista as a tank, which is, I know this seems really awkward, even if you're not using Lars. And a lot of times you actually wouldn't be using Lars in these lines. Um, you just use Krista as a tank. And I'll show you why here, like we go to Krista. Her ability, she has an ability called Ice Armor. It says crystal, or sorry, crystallization it puts an ice armor on her, right? So when in danger, taking major damage, crystal summons an ice block that protects the caster for two seconds by partially absorbing any incoming damage. So this is protect absorbs eighty six percent of all of incoming damage. Um, so this is a pretty big ability because pretty much everything Ishmael does is gonna cut. 86% of it mitigated off the top. Um, so this gives uh, Krista probably the best, like, staying power. She has okay armor, like, um, I think Ish Ishmael fully maxed, though. He has 46,816 armor pen. So that's gonna go through that. I mean, yeah, you can put an armor pen on, up armor pet on her to make it, like, higher. I said, we don't tend to, we've maxed out her actual ascension tree, pretty much. I mean, I guess we would get a bit more magic defense, but not the armor, other than the mage. The mage branch would get us more, but uh, for the most part, if the Ishmael is maxed out, even with the uh, armor patch, you're probably uh, not getting much any benefit from the armor. So it's not not really enough to worry about unless you're also armor buffing, like if maybe you're using Martha or something for an armor buff, like an armor buff then makes her uh, pretty good. But just uh, crystallization by itself um, is usually enough to honestly slow down Ishmael, but I've actually really warmed up to uh, Krista here. Like, this is, like, an unusual option for tanking. Like, but if for whatever reason, if you have Krista developed because you have the twins, like, Krista is a good option here. Um, You don't really need penetration if you're not using Lars because she's not really going to do any damage. Um, You're probably looking something like Biscuit, Axel, or Chorus. Just really depends on what else you're using on your line. Most of the time, you'll probably have Axel on someone else. But Biscuit and Chorus can be fine if you're not u otherwise using them. But this one has Rufus, so you probably need Morgan. So you want this and you want this. So pretty much this is going to be your core of the, of the team here. Um, and we probably want Celeste heal here for heals. Maybe we'll put Chorus there. And then we'll do, uh, Axel. Um, you pretty much want Axel if you're going to use Heidi, because Heidi can spam up a bunch of dodge buffs. This is why I kind of feel like Heidi's the best option. Also, if you're tanky with Krista, you can't really use Arachne or Maya and stuff, because, uh, they all sit in front of Krista, so they kind of become non-options. But Heidi sits very, very far in the back, so this works. But uh, with the Axel as your pet, Heidi gets a lot more chances to dodge, um, which means Heidi will get a lot of chances to use uh, his ults. Um, so this ends up, this team looks total jank. Like, this looks like the jankiest team ever, but it actually works really well against all these Ishmael lines. Right, and just to look at this, like, Krista is tanking like an absolute champ. Like, I mean, sometimes Aurora can do that, but, like, if Aurora gets a bad dodge roll, like, I mean, Ishmael, like, can one-shot her, especially if, like, Battle Sons up. I mean, it just, you know, and that's true with, like, most tanks. Like, most tanks, so none of, I don't think any of the tanks, like, Ishmael with Fat, with Fenris pet, I think has, like, would be about 56,000 armor penetration. So, let's look at that, but Ishmael's already dead. Like I said, between Heidi and Amira, like, we got Ishmael down really quickly. Like, and this is why it said this line works. Like, Krista, because she has a huge mitigation buff, self-mitigation buff, 
She is actually super tanky and works works really well against a hero like Ishmael, who only attacks the frontmost hero because he just has basic physical attacks, which makes Krista an incredible tank uh, for him. Like she's pretty niche as a tank, but this one of those tiny teams you can definitely use Krista versus. Like I said, she has no match potential, so you don't really need Merlin on her because, I mean, you might do slightly more damage, but. You probably just want more armor on her just to kind of reduce like the down damage she's taking. Um, if you aren't otherwise using chorus, um, you probably want chorus on her because that would give her just a bit more uh, mitigation. But um, like I said, Heidi does look at this damage Heidi does look at this damage Mira did. Um, damage taken like didn't take a whole lot. Like she just tanks like a champ. Um, you know, healing Celeste doing some healing. Morgan has some self healing. Um, works pretty well. So that's a win. Um, this one has Ishmael as the tank. Again, we're probably going to... So we don't need... Since they don't have Rufus, we don't need um, uh, Morgan. You only need Morgan versus... Uh, you only need Morgan versus Rufus. Um, and then this one, see. Doo -doo -doo. So we'd probably want... So they have Rackney, you probably want Sebastian here. So instead of Morgan, we'll use Sebastian. And that's generally what you're going to be doing. It's going to be either Morgan or Sebastian, depending on the line. But uh, this works. You put, like said, Axel on Celeste pretty good. And then Oliver on Amira. Said so Oliver's not an option for Celeste, but it is an option for Amira. So you can just do that to kind of give them both some tanky pets. And then you can put Chorus here on Krista. But it's just like you saw Ishmael had a crit there, but Chris only took like 16 or 13,000 damage. So it was not not a lot of damage. Like it just like it just Krista tanks tanks versus Ishmael just so well. It's like it's like a lot of times, like said, this just doesn't work. Like you can't really use her as like a true tank. And she sits kind of far back in the line. So really limit your options here. But like I said, but you see how Heidi's spamming buffs? Like, we got four dodge buffs up now. Five dodge buffs up. Like, and this also, the dodging works really well versus... Oh, we just lost Celeste, though. Boom, boom, boom. But... <laughs> All right. Boom, there you go. Krista died, but we were doing lots of damage with the pure damage and stuff. Like, see, but the combination of Amir Heidi, that right there, that's the real key. Like, you could probably make it work with a different tank, like, but, uh, like, a lot of your tank, other tanks, though, they're just, they're not going to be as consistent as Krista. Like, this is pretty much the one hero where Krista's going to be your best option. Like, I would not recommend just leveling Krista just for this. Like, if you don't have Krista already, I wouldn't really level recommend leveling her for this. But she works very, very well here in this role. But, you know, like even, like said, so thing about uh, uh, Leanne is that she, her charms can be really annoying. But, uh, you know, with the Axel, you're kind of forcing the charms to be broken with uh, the A damage because it causes A damage. So you're kind of... Like, she could be really annoying at the end, but she's probably going to die long before Ishmael. So in this case, you can, you know, not, don't really have to bring in um, Chorus. You don't, like I said, and we're actually going without Sebastian here. Because the only thing that's, other thing that doesn't satisfy is Ish, uh, Ishmael here. Like, boom. All right, and this one, this one should be pretty easy. It just has Astral. Like, this one, this one, look, it should be super easy here. I hope that's the one we just did. So, duh, 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 duh. and we're just going to run... Krista, boom, pretty much you run those heroes, um, and then, because Fafnir has AE stunned, you want Sebastian, like, this is pretty much the team, it's either Sebastian or Morgan most of the time, like, that's pretty much what you would do, it would be those six heroes to beat these Ishmael teams, and this works, this line, those six heroes right there will be most Ishmael teams, there's a couple of exceptions, I will, which I'll talk about in a soon, but, like, this one works really well. See. Yeah, generally, though, you do need Axel as your pet just to make the most of Heidi. So Heidi can get more chances to ults. Because it gives, because um, 
Axel spreading the damage through your whole team gives Heidi more chance to dodge. Game patronage means more chances to ult, but uh, you see how Ishmael's taking all that pure damage. Like that's that's why you use Heidi. Like and boom, open the mirror just did a damage, did a whole lot of damage, and now said Sebastian got the res from Astaroth, but it doesn't really matter because he's about to die again. See, just like that, boom. Victory, boom. Mira did most of the damage there. Heidi, Celeste does her thing. Like Chris, oh, we put the wrong pet on Chris if we did Merlin, but that's fine. There isn't any. Some of these heroes have pretty poor magic defense, like like Sebastian, so that's fine. But uh, like I said, even like in the best case scenario, Chris is not going to do a whole lot of damage here without Lars. So that was that was actually a mispick there. You'd want a different pet for sure. You'd probably want either Biscuit or Chorus most of the time. Like in this case, it'd probably be Chorus, but um. You know, just something to think about. Like, you know, I that was, that was a mispick, but uh, it's still a win because that was an easy fight. I didn't check her patron. Okay, so this is a line I see guild they use. Um, they have Thea. Thea can say silence. Aurora is pretty good. Like, Aurora, this is a line you'll see a lot. I see this specific line. This is a line this, the guild leader uses, a guild a guild member uses. Not me, I'm the guild leader, but a uh, um, guild member uses this specific line. So you want Sebastian. We want Mira. We want... Celeste, Heidi, where's Krista? Krista. Let's see, boom, boom. Probably Albus, just because he can do more pure damage there. And Heidi can blind too, but you'd have to dispel oh, Disserenity. Like Heidi can like actually blind too. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Heidi does have blinds, but it's another benefit of using Biscuit if you can. Though Krista is not going to do a whole lot of dispelling without Lars. But like that's the other thing I forgot to mention. But uh, Heidi can actually like blind blind. Which is also good versus Ishmael. So their nebula's down. Okay. Sebastian just died to Amira. Yeah, no, you pretty much just have to do pure damage. You see that he has that SOS haste circle that's from Thea. Yeah, no, this this line is pretty tough. A lot of teams will struggle to beat this line. Come on, Thea, you gotta die. Okay, there you go. Ishmael's finally down. Yeah, no, it just... Thea's a really good healer. Okay, the Curse of Flame should finish her off. This is probably the one taking the longest of all the ones we've tried so far. Yeah, it's this one. Over 3 million damage, and that's because they had so much healing. Like, she had like 2 million healing. Damage taken. Krista tanking like a champ there. But yeah, a lot of healing there. Like, it just... Boom. So Krista's pretty... Or sorry, uh, Thea's pretty good. She also buffs the magic defense, which can be really good versus the Mira. So the Mira's damage a lot lower than previous ones. So Celeste. So that was fourth from the bottom. So we do this one. This one has a Mira. It's like a Mira versus Mira. It has Rufus. So you need Morgan. Ah, but da 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 da. Celeste, Heidi. Um, where's Krista? There you go, Krista. Boom. I think actually, maybe that is what you want. 
put the chorus here. So it actually probably put that one here because so Morgan has self healing, so she can do that. Then have that there. And you really do want Celeste if you can fit her in there, just because Cursed Flame said because sometimes they'll put like all over on Ishmael to make, give him make him even tougher to like kill. Um, and like said, so Cursed Flame can shut down all of her patron healing. So it's just, you know, said, Celeste, try to fit Celeste in here if you can. Like, there could be a case for Martha for the extra armor buff, but, but yeah, that mirror is going to do a lot of damage here. Shoot. Maybe too much. No, Amira's down. Okay, good. Amira died. That's good. Like, if Amira didn't die, we would be in real trouble, but there you go. We got it. Yeah, scared me for a minute, but we got it. Boom, Heidi, Amira, Celeste doing their thing, but their their mirror did a lot. But see, like, uh, Ishmael did almost nothing. Like, did almost nothing there. And that's because the blind effects got him. Um, so that's good. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the one we just did, right? So it'd be this one. Yeah, this one has Corvus. So. This one has Corvus. This is where if we this line is going to fell us. And we'll just run it out here just to show you. But this line will almost certainly fell us because Corvus he is a really strong counter to Heidi. This is where, like I said, this line's just not going to do it for us. There's no, there is no uh, Sebastian there. So this is where I would totally recommend a completely different line. But we're going to run with this. And you do need to have uh, Sebastian here because uh, you got silence here. You got stuns. Like, you'll have a bad day if you don't bring Sebastian. Very bad day. Oh, I think I might have used the wrong pet on Celeste. So doesn't matter. This We're going to lose this fight almost probably. Probably lose this fight just because Corvus is going to ruin our day here. Like I said, watch. Heidi's going to take a whole lot of damage right here. See? Heidi's dead because of this uh, altar thing. See. Yeah, no, without Heidi, though, that kind of really messes up our plan. Plus, uh, Isaac can really get us. Yep. Looks like Corvus moved Fafner to the middle, but, uh, yeah. All of her patron tried to keep him here alive, but, uh, yeah. So, Corvus, this is not a... You can't use Heidi versus Corvus, so that's where you have to use an alternate strategy. I mean, no, Iris is not a replacement here. But there is another option you can use. We'll talk about them here. Like, but uh, this is where I'd probably just recommend like doing like an Arachnomaya because you don't have Sebastian. Best chance would be to do like just Aurora Arachnomaya. Like that is what I would recommend. Do that. We could do that in a second, but we'll just kind of keep with the current theme here. And we're going to do uh, replacements. Like the people of Krista will probably have this hero here that we're going to use here in a second. But... Let's grab this one, let's grab this one. And we're not going to use Heidi because Heidi's not going to help us, but we will use Lars. If you have Krista leveled up, chances are you also have Lars developed to a point where he's usable. So Lars is a good option here. Like I said, this will probably do better. And yes, Isaac's there. Isaac's not Isaac's not the twins counter that people claim he is. He's he can be annoying. Like the one that's gonna probably have the hardest trouble here is probably actually gonna be Krista. And this is where it's gonna get interesting. Nope. Okay, boom. But Lars with the stun doing some stuff like Lars can stun. All right, boom. Look at that. So that's where you use Lars. Said Isaac, not the twins killer everyone claims he is. He's just, he's okay. Like he's, he's more like, I don't know. I've not, don't. Don't worry too much about him on the defense. Like you can beat him with twins, as I just showed. But like right here, no, no Sebastian to protect against stuns. So you can bring in Lars for the stuns plus Krista combo. 
a lot of damage here. Krista actually didn't even do that much damage. It's just that to stun really is what killed him because then he couldn't refresh his phantom armor, which allowed Mira to get him. But like, that's how you win there. Um, but honestly, for me, I'd probably just, I probably wouldn't try something like that, even though I actually have all those heroes. I could totally try that, but, uh, I also have Arachnamaya on my account and I'd probably just run with that. I'd run like this, but, uh, the opt to line to show it is totally an option for what I have on my account. So, but I'd probably run this cause I think this is probably going to get a run that could be a bit safer just because, uh, you, there's a bit of uncertainty there with Lars. Whereas Arachne's gonna stun the whole team. Lars is only it doesn't like Arachne's better at stunning than Lars. That's kind of why I'd say this is probably gonna be a little bit better. Because now they're all stunned. Oh maybe not, maybe not. Ishmael. Boom. See, there you go. Didn't even use a mirror. But uh this is how I would beat this one, but uh I haven't been showing this one because this is more to keep with the theme. But the other one right there, like, with the twins there, worked pretty well. We're doing pretty much, we've been doing all these on full auto. Like, if you want a manual, you can definitely get a bit more value out of Celeste to speed these up. But it's going to do it full manual, just kind of keep it simple. Like, I do think you should be playing this in manual Celeste, though, because uh, there's putting her in heal mode here doesn't add any value right now. Like, keeping her dark definitely is the right move. Yeah, no, the other team actually won quicker. <laughs> but this one, like, they're just, there's nothing they can do versus this Arachne stunning without, so they don't have, they don't have Sebastian. So this is just, I mean, you just literally stun lock them. Bye bye. So like that. So that's that's generally how I would beat it. But the uh, boom, like you just have my Arachne just stun lock him. But on a lot of teams, that's not an option, especially if you're using Rufus, because then you have to preen Morgan. Like it just like it just this works really well in this particular case. Um, but uh, if you go like said, so, but this one will work too. Like and if you're doing the lines have been wrecked, like kind of like against the other ones, like that that is kind of like the case where you wouldn't do Heidi but then again this one's like similar to the ones we've done before not identical but uh, this is where we'd bring in the Morgan Heidi um Krista Celeste like I said this line I mean it looks janky but this line is very good versus uh Ishmael teams see that goes there that goes here this goes here looks janky as gar as all hell but it works really well this is like pretty much the only, it's pretty much one of the few situations where I'd recommend using Krista as a tank just because uh, how well she works versus Ishmael. Ice armor for the win. Ooh, shoot. That's actually, a, we actually needed, that's right, I forgot, I messed up. We needed Faf, we needed, um, I forgot, we needed Sebastian there, too. Yeah, that's actually might be a bit harder than I thought it was, because we actually need Sebastian there, too, because of Fafnir. So I messed up, I, I didn't, I said, didn't think here, but we need, so we actually have to skip, cause we actually have to skip Celeste here, because we need uh, Sebastian, see? So that's actually a mistake there, I made a mistake there, so we actually need Sebastian is where we go without healing, which which sounds dangerous, but it's not as dangerous as you might think because they're not going to be able to do anything. Like, yeah, we lost to Fafnir stunning my whole team there. That's what happened. Fafnir stunned our whole team, and then we died. So Fafnir stunning you is actually worse than not having healing. So we're going to go with this. So this will, this one should be a win. Yeah, I've totally forgot that. I've, like I said, got... Didn't think about it too much. I'm like, oh, that's right. We have, it's similar to the ones we had before, but it's actually, there is a nuance there because you can't run that same five lines. You have to skip. So that's the kind of problem because they do have like all of our patron and stuff, but 
you kind of have to roll with this without healing. So you're just pretty much just relying on Krista to have her stuff there. There you go. And Ishmael's dead. So I didn't actually, don't really need uh, Celeste here. Because uh, they don't really have any real healing of themselves. So, I mean, Nebula has some healing, but you should be able to beat through it. Their main healing right there is on all of your patron. So, like I said, didn't actually need Celeste there. The right, the right play is to cut Celeste. Because you need Sebastian and Morgan here. But uh, Heidi, Amira, that's the key to beating Ishmael. Uh, Krista's just generally the best tank. You can use like actual tanks in a lot of these like most of the time. Though Krista just has a bit better survivability. Uh, that's just the main uh, tank takeaway here. And I forgot I should need to mention Heidi's blind ability. Heidi... Where's Heidi? I just looked past him. I know I did. Here he is. Um, poison and blinding them. So this is a five second blind. Poison. So that's a blind. It does pure damage. Pure damage. Like I said, so we can blind with this one for five seconds. Um, like I said, so this also, if like if they don't have Ode to Serenity, he can also help with the preventing eyes, uh, Ishmael from attacking. Or if you can dispel a Serenity, which you're not going to do too much of those that was those particular heroes, but uh, it is something to keep in mind. Um, anyway, not too much more to say on this. Um, if you want to know more about like like an Ishmael team or something, I've done a couple of videos about making Ishmael teams, uh, and I'll, you can find one of those down below. Thanks for watching.